In this video, we are going to talk about how you can charge more for your web design services, web development services, how you can make websites and get paid more, whether it's a fully custom website or you're doing templated websites either way you can charge more by taking some of the strategies some of the tactics that i'm going to mention in this video i'm going to make sure these are actionable so you can walk away learning something from this video and really begin implementing it starting today all right so one of the first things that you want to do when you're offering web design is pick a specific niche that you can work with. And I'm gonna tell you the importance of this. The reason you want to do this is because when you work in a specific industry, you know how to speak their language. You know how to talk to this type of business owner. And not only that, but more importantly, you know exactly their pain points, you know exactly what they want, you know exactly what they need, and all in all, you understand their problems and when they talk to you and even though you're more expensive than potentially someone else they're going to feel like they trust you more and sometimes they don't even know why so in my niche of working with construction companies i know that these guys get pitched leads all the time get this beautiful website get more leads get this and that but that's actually not what they want. They want in-home estimates and they want booked appointments on their calendars. And so now when I go in and I can pitch them a website, even though some of our websites are 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, and sometimes even more, I'm able to pitch these prices because they're going to trust me because I'm speaking their language. And I know that when we build the website, I know the reason for the website, right? We're not just building it so it looks pretty. I know the conversion cycle. I know what their leads want to see to become customers for their business. So some of this goes into copywriting and understanding your clients, customers. I know that in my industry and in my niche, basically what customers want to see is before and after they want to see transformations and just in general in most industries transformations work really well i also know that customers want to see the phone number up top pretty much as soon as they land on the page plus a contact us button sometimes they want to be able to book their own appointments as well and i can help the customer with this so i can take a look at a website that they paid whether it's a couple hundred dollars for or a couple thousand dollars for and i'm able to critique it and give them my tips because i can also tell them look i've seen this work extremely well for all these other companies in this industry in adjacent cities to you and now this puts me as an authority this sets me up as an authority in their mind and all of a sudden they trust me and so what i'm doing is i'm not necessarily selling them a website or like a better design i'm selling them the fact that this new website is going to get them more customers it's going to bring them more business the other thing that you want to do is tie it to a dollar amount so by talking on a sales call with a person about their website you can actually ask them how much is a customer worth to you what is the value of this customer how much money can you make if you turn more of your website visitors into paying customers now if they already have traffic this works even better because you can ask them how many website visitors do you currently have awesome so if i can help you convert just an extra five percent what is the value of that and you want them thinking about what is the value of this thing that they're going to do and you can also tie that into times forever times five years times 10 years and you can really get this number out of them and now when you're pitching your web design services they're thinking about how much more business they're going to bring with this new website now of course this means you actually want to be an expert right you don't just want to say these things you can do that by researching their industry you can do that by researching books on amazon about their industry and just read or even read their reviews read other people's reviews see what people are saying and you'll begin to understand this niche's language and exactly what it is that they're looking for and then what you're going to do is hop on a sales call and pitch them the end result of what it is that they want. So something I always make sure that I do with each and every sales call when I am pitching web design services is I make sure to teach them new 
things. And this works super well because sometimes I'll even tell clients at the beginning of a call, look, my goal is to make this very valuable for you that if you want, you can walk away and implement some of this stuff today. I want this to be super valuable. I want you to walk away better than when you walked in. I want you knowing new things at the end of this call. And a lot of times they'll hire you because they can see that you are an expert. So definitely make sure that you understand this industry and tie this new website to them making more money or saving more time and tie it to the return on investment that they're going to get from this website. And then what you wanna do is tie it to why it makes sense for the client to make this investment. And you can also bring up the past and say, look, where would you be at if we spoke one year ago? If we spoke one year ago and we did this and I helped you convert even 5% of your website visitors into paying customers, how many more customers would you have? How many more clients would you close for your business? And this is super powerful because it gets them thinking, damn, I should have done this earlier. I really need to do this. It gives them a little bit of urgency to where they want to move forward, right? Because they already feel like they've wasted time. Another tactic that I like to use is actually show them their competitors' websites. So again, this is going to be different in a case-by-case -case scenario because some people don't have any website, some people just have a really ugly website, and then some people have a nice website, but it's just not it's just not good for conversions. It looks pretty, but it does not help them get more customers from their website visitors. And again, that's where you come in as the expert, right? So I've even noticed something like live chat increases conversions for people that aren't ready for contact us form, right? They're ready to chat. So that's a really good tip as well. But if they already have something up or maybe they don't have something up, what you can do is pull up their competitors. So go on Google and a lot of times what they need help with is their online presence. So what you can do is go on Google and just type in their business name, look at their reviews, look at their reputation. They're talking to you because they obviously care. They care about some part of their online presence. They care about something, right? They want more business. And by Googling them and sharing your screen on Zoom, you can show them, look, these are the areas where you're flawed. And then go in their area and type in their niche. So type in dentist, Las Vegas, dentist, in Texas, whatever, pull up their competitors and show them their websites. And chances are, they're gonna have some really nice sites, they're gonna have hundreds of reviews, and you can show them side by side their website and then also their competitor's website and say, who would you trust? Pull up their four reviews and then pull up someone that has 40 reviews and say, who would you rather move forward with? Who seems more trustworthy out of the two? And let them tell you, oh wow, yeah, you're right, I need to focus more on reviews. A lot of these business owners that are so busy, they forget about all this little stuff about their online presence or about updating their photos or about their reviews, their reputation, that kind of stuff. And you can just show them that, hey, this look, this is a no brainer. All we have to do is be a little bit more active. And now you can be that person that can come in and help them with all this. Now, I know you're probably thinking, all I do is websites. I don't do this Google review stuff. That's fine. Look, if you sign up to something like Go High Level or another review software, or honestly, if you just get a list of past customers that they have and just send them all an email, right? By using a free tool like MailChimp, you can help them get reviews, right? And even if you help them in other ways outside of websites, they're really going to like you. So the way to charge more for your web design services is by doing more. It's by becoming a better business owner and really solving more problems. So this is going to be huge and this is definitely something that you should consider and look into. What are their other pain points and see if you can solve that. If you use a software like Go High Level, which is what we use, and by the way, if you want a free 30-day trial, we have a link in the description. We actually have two website packages. Now we have a custom website, which we charge a lot for. And then we have a website in a day program as well to where the clients that can't afford our most expensive websites, we have a templated website for our niche where all we do is we put their logo at the top and that's their website. And it's 300 bucks a month plus automations, plus a whole bunch of SaaS stuff like calendars, appointment booking, automatic reviews, a whole bunch of stuff. Anyways, if you want to learn more about that, there's a link in the description for a free course you can sign up to and you can learn more about how we offer that. And this way you're able to also convert all your leads. So not everyone can afford 
four to four five six thousand dollar website and some people they just want something very basic with something that works really well and they can sign up for a templated website which you build one time and again you're being very upfront it's a templated website it's great to have up it's just three hundred dollars a month and it's really very minimal work for you since you already did it they win and also you win as well and then when whenever they are ready to get a full custom website then you can also upsell them that and a whole bunch of other stuff but anyways that's beside the point solve more of their problems and they will happily pay you more i think at the end of the day a lot of these business owners they don't actually really care that much about their website what they really care about is the end result and if you can speak that same language to them hey the website's great but we're gonna help you get this end result. We're gonna help you build a brand online. And you can really talk to them about their true desires. They're going to move forward with you because they'll understand that you get it. Everyone's trying to pitch them this beautiful custom website, this and that, but if you come in talking about their ROI, talking about new business, talking about their online reputation, like their reviews, sometimes they don't even know that they're lacking, right? Sometimes they've never Googled their industry in their certain city. And so, because they've never done that, they don't know what everyone else is doing. So all you have to do is just put it in front of them and just ask them, who would you move forward with? The way for you to really sell your services and charge more is by getting them to sell themselves. Which of these two business owners would you pick, right? Who would you trust more if you were looking for X service, for Y service? And I think if you follow along these guidelines, you'll be in an amazing place. You have two packages you'll be able to speak the business owner's language and I think you'll be at a huge advantage. So if you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up as well if this is something you are interested in. I'm curious to know, do you currently have two website packages? Do you have a higher level plan? Do you have a lower level plan? This was a complete game changer. I probably missed out on so much business by not having a website in a day prior because no matter what you pitch some people they just can't afford it and that's why you have that lower level package as well so anyways hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one